So you're fighting one of these online Brian's, your Fryans, your Ryans, your Dryans. And this guy has never been stepped in his life, so what you do is you sidewalk right. One, two, one, one, two, three. They just whiff, they give you his back. Pretty much the only thing that's gonna clip you out of this is his three, three, two, which is not exactly a key move, but everything else you see, very dangerous for him, very get launched on reaction. So now, now he's thinking about you stepping, and he's gonna go straight to FF4, because it's so rewarding. Little does he know, you can do a small step, and then a duck. Now his small pokes at DF2 and that, they have unusually bad recovery on whiff, so you can get while standing punishes on them, if you're quick and if you're sharp. His FF4 obviously whiffs, B1, whiffs, orbital, whiffs, bad retrack. His hatchet kick gets blocked, so almost all the moves he wants to do to you get countered. Now, you need to be quick on this punish and know the animation. If you punish late, something like DF2-3 will obliterate you. DF2-1, no matter how quickly you punish, will just stuff your punish straight out, because it cuts right into the recovery. Overall, risk-reward is against him. You need to be sidewalking right for like 15 frames to make DF1 whiff, or you get clipped. Now, let's say he's tired of you step-ducking, he's throwing out 1 plus 2 as mid-homing move. You see here I'm step guarding, I'm making his jabs whiff, I'm making his DF2 whiff, I'm getting punishes, but I'm blocking 1 plus 2. So, what he often wants to do, other than DF1, is he wants to use tracking. Now he has options that full track to the right, but they are god awful against movement left as a rule. And they often have other flaws, like being punishable, being extremely slow. Etc. Now his options to hard track left, these are much better. I'm gonna cover these later. If we return to right for now, he can do like forward hold F3, it's full track to the right while retaining decent frames, regardless of what happens. However, this is really bad against left, and like I said, it's really slow. If you step and immediately push a button, you'll get obliterated though. How does he track left? Some of his best moves. DF1, Jab, Jet Upper, QCB2. QCB2 is actually a full track if it's at mid-range. Brian has quite a few moves that change their tracking depending on the spacing you're at, which is, in my experience, unusual. So like this move, sidewalk it right up close, but at mid-range, it's a full track. Hatchet Kick. You can sidewalk it left up close as long as you're sidewalking before he gets the back's way out. So doing this at a block stun, really easy, but doing it in the neutral, bit more of a chancy proposition. This is part of why Brian is a guy who likes to play a lot of neutral, he likes to delay his timing. And stuff like forward hold F3, preventing you stepping and pushing a button, that helps give him space to mix up his timing without you just doing like a step jab. Another way to deal with hatchet kick is just a step and then duck, because it's such a slow move. It will get blocked regardless of which way you go. I don't know why I can step these jabs. I feel like these should be unsteppable when he's at plus five. Weird stuff. I'm gonna tell you the most relevant way frame data changes his tracking. After plus four, plus five, after a B1 hatchet kick, his DF1 full tracks both ways, so this makes it much easier for him to control step, but bear in mind this is only plus one on hit. Some stuff that's not relevant versus the average Brian, but that I want to include for completion. His DF2 full tracks left after you block a jab. At plus one, DB3 is a full track, but if he's at neutral or worse, I think, you can sidewalk it to the left. This is not relevant, because as most Brian's, I've stepped him happily for quite a while without knowing that. Likewise, his jab and jet upper, hard tracking to the left, is dependent on him having plus frames. And that's enough of that. Want to close this out with a quick word on a universal tech and mechanic. When you sidestep an attack, if something hasn't already whiffed, it will generally retrack and counter hit you. This is particularly relevant with Brian because his counter hits will send you straight to fucking Mars. So, uh, yeah. When you step an attack predictively, you need to know exactly what you're timing that for and what you will get around. 
and when you step and whiff punish reactively, you need to know exactly what animations you're looking for and what punish you're going to use, otherwise you might just get chewed up by strings. I'm going to get itchy if I don't mention that FCD of 4 and FF3 are both full tracks. That's pretty much all, I can make an entire separate video about stepping him in the neutral, but for now I would just like to polish off this one. Uh, that's all folks, Good night.